The city of Waterville is not immune to the homeless crisis, but a new idea being floated to help the unhoused weather the coming winter is certainly unique. The mayor has suggested giving them access to yurts instead of traditional tents and tarps they've been using. But as News Center Main's Ann Baldridge reports, some are wondering if yurts will even work. I want everyone who's going to be out there on the streets this year to survive. Waterville is looking into taking a different approach to encampments in the city. It's a fancy word for a canvas tent. Mayor Jay Coelho is talking about yurts, a double layer canvas type tent that would provide warmer living spaces for the city's unhoused population. As he took us to the encampments today, he said they're still working out all the logistics of this plan. I don't know. And if the, uh, I'm not sure the city is going to give me that kind of money, but I'm sure I can raise that kind of money. Todd Stevens, the community outreach coordinator, pitched the proposal to the city council on Tuesday, asking the city to spend up to $10,000 on the yurts. The money would come from the general fund with plans to get them up by mid-November before the weather outside turns potentially deadly. Unfortunately, right now, as we come into winter and, and talks with the, the homeless shelter, the warming center is not going to be adequate. There, there's not enough uh, space in the warming center. So, you know, we discussed what is a way for us to address the short term, the winter. The mayor says right now there are about 25 tents and 50 people living at the encampment at Hedda Falls Park. The plan is to place 10 yurts where the tents are now out of the public's view. They're between three to six hundred dollars a piece. Like I said, they, these aren't fancy yurts. He says the yurts can hold anywhere from two to four people. He wants to put a system in place to have them inspected and to get the people in the yurts the help they need. Dr. Katie Spencer White, CEO of Mid Main Homeless Shelter and serves on the statewide homeless council, says leaving people outside like that is still unsafe. But they are still a tent. They are not shelter. It's one thing to stand up the yurt. The challenge with all of these kinds of initiatives, right, is how do you staff it and provide the services and make sure that it is safe. Officials will meet later this month to discuss whether the yurts should be installed. In Waterville and Baldrige, New Center, Maine.